So now we will show you some videos of uh, yolk sac, how it is appearing and when we can uh, tell that the yolk sac is abnormal. Now here is the fetal pole, I am seeing the fetal pole with cardiac pulsations. Now see you can make out that the cardiac pulsations are there. But I will not get happy with the cardiac pulsations only. Now this is the cardiac pulsations or these are the cardiac pulsations. Now see this is the area where I can see the cardiac pulsation. So first of all I will measure how much is the fetal heart rate. Then I have to correlate it with CRL. But I will not stop here. I will extend my scan and I will go to the yolk sac. Now this is the yolk sac over here. Now this is the yolk sac. Now this yolk sac is not very clear. I am not seeing a clear echoes in it. It should be jet black, jet black. I am having some echoes over here. And I am having uh, some calcified areas over here. Now see this is the thickened wall. Now I can say that these are mild calcifications. So, this type of yolk sac will not be accepted. This is not a normal yolk sac. This is not a normal yolk sac because I am seeing some areas where calcifications are there. So I am having a mild calcified yolk sac here, mild calcified yolk sac. Now I will follow this patient. I will follow this patient because this patient, this fetus is at risk. So the point is that if I am seeing a good fetal heart rate and that heart rate is corresponding with CRL, I will go to yolk sac to see whether yolk sac is normal or not. So this is a mildly calcified yolk sac, not completely yolk, uh, calcified yolk sac. Now if fetal I will put a color Doppler on it to see whether there is any venous congestion or not. If it will take flow, if the wall will take flow, it means that venous congestion is there. So I am setting now the color box on it. I am adjusting with the PRF and with the gain. I am seeing that some areas are taking color, not completely. Some areas are taking color here and I will measure the yolk sac and even if yolk sac is normal, but this wall, this calcified wall is making me an alert that I have and have to follow this patient. So now in next video, uh, I will show you a calcified yolk sac, how the calcified yolk sac is looking like. Now see this calcified yolk sac means that there is a lock on the tiffin. It means that the fetus in most of cases, if not in all, if not in all, will be a dead fetus. Now, how important this is? If I am seeing a calcified yolk sac, then the fetus, the fetal pole, most probably is not having any fetal cardiac pulsations. But if I am seeing any fetal cardiac pulsations, muffled fetal heart so called in inverted commas, I am not sure whether these are fetal pulsations what I am seeing here or the transmitted pulsations from the maternal vessels. Then I can go to the yolk sac and investigate the yolk sac whether the yolk sac is normal or abnormal. If the yolk sac is abnormal, especially if it is having a calcified wall in it and the internal contents are not clear, then most probably whatever I am seeing, whatever I am confusing between this muffled fetal heart and the transmitted pulsations from the maternal vessels will be the transmitted only because yolk sac is telling me, doctor, I am no more. I am much calcified over here. I am non-functional. So let us see how the non-functional uh, severely calcified yolk sac looks like. So this is the video of a patient uh, where we scanned the fetal pole and we got in 
the fetal pole and we looked for the fetal cardiac pulsations. We did not get it, but the area here is confusing. If you are not much experienced, you will get confused between this area. What is this? What is this here? Are these muffled uh, uh, fetal heart pulsations or the transmitted pulsations? Then I can make use of the yolk sac. I can go to yolk sac. I can ask the yolk sac, how are you yolk sac? And yolk sac will tell me, oh doctor, I am very bad. Now how a very bad yolk sac is looking like a calcified with no internal uh, uh, this uh, um, jet black area will not be there. There will be no lumen at all. The lumen will be filled with calcifications. That is a very bad yolk sac. Now see, this is the area where I am seeing the yolk sac here concentrated. Now this is the yolk sac. This is the yolk sac. Now see to the yolk sac. How the yolk sac is looking like? This yolk sac is a calcified area over here. It does not look like a yolk sac at all, but this is yolk sac only. So, I am seeing a calcified thing. Now, see this thing, this round thing is actually a yolk sac which has calcified. Now, with this much of calcifications in the yolk sac, why? Why the fetus will be alive? Because this is the tiffin to baby. If tiffin is lockered, how the baby will be fed? No way. It means that whatever I am seeing, the muffled fetal pulsations, actually these are not fetal pulsations, these are transmitted pulsations from maternal vessels. So this way, the yolk sac will conclude the diagnosis. So if you see this type of yolk sac, this is very, very abnormal yolk sac. In this, I will not expect I will not expect the fetal heart pulsations to be there. Even if I am sure, now see, this, this is connected with the uh, fetus also. I can see the vitiline duct over here. Now I am playing it. Now see, now see, this is connected with the fetus. Now this is the vitiline duct, which further confirms that this is yolk sac only. So, this yolk sac is connected by the vitiline duct which is here. So, the point is if you are seeing this type of yolk sac and you are sure that fetal pulsations are there, please follow that patient. Please follow that fetus. Most probably in 99.99% 99 .99 of cases, tomorrow there will be no fetal pulsations. Because the fetus is at very high risk. So, fetus is almost gone. Almost gone with this type of uh, yolk sac. So, always make a habit of uh, scanning yolk sac and see to these uh, uh, calcified, calcified areas whether these calcifications are restricted uh, to the walls only or even the lumen is occupied by these calcifications. Now, this is the importance of uh, knowing the yolk sac scanning and I have to measure the yolk sac. If it is normal, I have to measure it. It should not be too large. It should not be too small. So, this was about the yolk sac scanning.